You ready, Andrea? Yeah. You ready? Coffee ready. Table Chronicles? Ready. ready. Hi, we're Heavy Metal Beer Club. Here we are at Del Bach Distillery in Tucson, Arizona, about ready to have a tasting, and this is going to be a good time. Yes, it is. Yes. 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 Thing, a fun thing I need to mention is when you watch, because then you're going to subscribe to Coffee Table Chronicles, you will see that they are whiskey connoisseurs also. Yes. Well, <laughs> while they're doing their live shows, or else, you know, just watch the, uh, you can watch it on YouTube later on. And uh, what also, what are you on? Rumble. 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 And on Facebook? We're pretty much on everything. We're on yeah. Facebook, okay. Instagram. So you can catch them all over the place. Our tasting consisted of five different whiskeys, three of their flagship, which was the Classic, the Dorado, the Old Pueblo, along with the Spring Distiller's Cut and the Sentinel Rye. But we use one grain, one grain only. It is a barley. It's a two-row barley, which is a two-row gets your name. Okay. Um, and the process is all done in the same facility. So we uh, malt in house, we mash in house, we uh, ferment, we distill, and we barrel age all in this building right here. So every bottle you've ever had of Del Bach is made came from right here. Wow. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Very, that's awesome. The many bottles we've had in our <laughs> And yes, yeah, so we'd like to start with the classic. Um, the classic is. So we started off with the classic, which is outstanding. More of a Highland Scotch or a Bayside Scotch. So it is made with our unsmoked malt. Um, this is what Stephen uh, started making uh, when he first started to try to um, perfect his whiskey making skills. Um, and his profound love for the desert um, kind of just brought this whole thing together. Um, so if you want to go ahead and take just one little small sip of the, the classic. Actually, let, let me just take you back just a little bit here. Okay. When uh, tasting whiskey, what I like to do is I like to nose oh. it first. So there's one thing that I like to do when nosing is I take my glass and I'll kind of tilt it. Um, this way the ethanol doesn't shoot straight up in your sinuses and cleanse you out, unless you're feeling like you need to cleanse. Um, <laughs> but this allows more of the aromas of the whiskey to come at you rather than just the ethanol. Um, what I like to do is kind of keep my glass a little bit away from my, my nose, again, so you don't get straight up ethanol. Um, kind of bring your glass to your nose and with your mouth open, breathe in through your nose. That allows you to sort of taste what you're smelling. What are you getting? I'm getting caramel right off. Vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. Oh boy, that tastes good. I taste the vanilla. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Now, what are you tasting on the on Dorado? This, the peanut Dorado butter at the butter. end. The finish. The so like finish after you do it. End. But the Dorado has uh, it's smoked but with mesquite. Right now, I have the Old Pueblo, which is what all of their whiskeys start off as. So it's clear and not aged so it takes on different profiles but this right here at its base is just fantastic it's really really good to me almost even quite buttery it's um yeah outstanding i'm gonna give it a drop of water to uh, swirl it and see if it even opens up more so do we have a favorite yet what's the consensus I have a favorite. I like this Dorado one. Dorado is still my favorite. What's the one? There's no, there's what's no this getting one? around it. That was the distiller's cut. I like this one. Cut. The, the distiller's cut. It doesn't taste like whiskey. The classic. The classic on you. I do. And the rye yeah. is called what? The rye is called Sentinel. Sentinel. And we can purchase that today. No first one. The classic now, has the best smell to it. The classic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm going with a rye right now up with yeah. yeah and that's what's fun is so when we do our beer tastings we will get sometimes completely totally different. different flavor profiles. Me and him profile. do that all the time. Yeah. You do like, that I'll also? taste something and I'm like how yeah. do you even taste coffee? All I taste is like peanut butter or something and he's like no how do you yeah, taste Yeah we do that. Totally different. We had a couple beers where I was getting spice out of them Yeah. and she was not. None. Someone's that's why he'll never get a <laughs> job as the taster. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. People, shots fired. That's new for me. I'm not giving you celery. So that is that the is whiskey the cat that wanders around here at Delbach Distillery. Did we delicious. say that we love this place? This is the best experience so ever. So I was saying that originally we were going to do a tasting and we were going to talk about everything, talk about the profiles of the flavors and uh, the colors and all that good stuff. But that didn't quite work out right. 
which is okay because it just shows that we're having such a good time. So you gotta, if you're here in Tucson, Arizona, you gotta come check it out. And if not, if you're one of the states where they can ship to, you have to, you have to try the whiskeys. They are just amazing. And then we'll give a, a, a thank you to Jan, who was doing our pourings. Cause yeah, she's just been great. She explained everything to us in the tastings. It's been a lot of fun. Jana, oh my God, it's Jana. I mean, <laughs> this, this is what it's all about. Thank you. It's real people making like top real quality, whiskey. really good whiskey. Support local. Support local. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. How's how's that happen? I end up with more more tasters than anybody else. Yeah, okay. I don't know how that happens. We loved walking around and checking out all of the barrels in the warehouse and the distilling equipment. And it's very common when you visit one of the local breweries here in Tucson, Arizona, to see the Del Bach barrels because the breweries will use the barrels to make whiskey barrel aged beers. There's also a chocolate factory in town here in Tucson called Monsoon Chocolate, which has whiskey Del Bach bonbon collection, whiskey infused dark chocolate. How can you go wrong with that? You can book online whether you want to do a tasting or you want to do the full tour. I'll put a link to Whiskey Del Box website in the description below. They also have a great merchandise room, so you can pick up some t-shirts or some other goodies to remember your visit. And one of our favorite things was you could purchase their whiskey right there on site. Cheers. Bye. And oh stay God. metal.